This week we sent Danny to dig out the story with a little help from a friend. You know, if the words of the ecologists go unheeded and this planet really does end up as a wasteland, there's one part of North London that can say, don't blame us. Nah, that's a very grand boast and in the most part it's absolute rubbish, literally. Because this is the Edmonton Power Station and they've come up with an excellent scheme for recycling London's organic waste. All with the help of Icenia, Fotida or the Super Worm. As a sideline, the power station already recycles 22,000 tonnes of vegetation and rubbish into compost. Everything from smashed up trees, carrot peelings, to tea bags go into this brew. But then enter Superworm and a revolution takes place. Now Superworm lives in here. In fact, four million of them do. The worms are in special wooden boxes, quietly playing their part in London's top environment story. We found that by feeding the worms our normal compost, it makes the nutrients a lot more available to the plants and produces super compost. So superworm makes super compost. Now to the untrained eye, Icenia Fotida doesn't seem to do too much, just wriggle about. But remember, this is superworm. They're breeding like mad, each having a thousand baby worms a year. And this time next year, we anticipate our four million worms will be something like 40 million worms. And they're voracious, eating their own weight in compost and a few waste tidbits a day, turning it into rich, fertile droppings, ready to become extra fruity compost. Everybody who has used the wormwork compost is absolutely delighted with it. And this whole experiment, we believe, will lead to a five million pound factory being established on this site. This is your bog standard compost and it retails about 80 pounds a tonne but once those worms have been at it it's worth two and a half thousand pounds a tonne and there's more ask any smart worm these days and they say a home without us worms is not a home at all to find out why they are worming their way into homes all over London, I was joined by our expert from the Gardening Roadshow, Roddy Llewellyn. We went to see Muswell Hill home of Peter Draper. He's playing host to a worm colony of his own in his kitchen. This is it? This is it. Looks very compact and modern. What's, yes. uh, what, what's going on here? Pretty compact. Well, uh, this catch, open it up this way. What is the basic stock there? What's the what's going on? Well, I keep in the kitchen a little tin like this and put in fruit, peelings, bananas, banana skins, orange skins. Yeah. And then they go. Anything that'll break down organically, yeah. obviously. Vegetable. The worms are down at the bottom doing what worms do, eating and producing the goodies. Now, I'm sorry, yes, of course I'm as ecological as everybody else, but I cannot at the moment see the benefit of this muck. Well, don't knock it. That uh -huh. is considered by practically every plant, every plant in the garden, as a real feast. Yeah? No. But no. can one really tell a mature compost from an upstart, presumptuous compost? Well, taking a leaf out of the world of wine tasting, we've arranged a little test. What's actually going to happen here? Well, what we're looking for now is um, a, a compost that has a good tilth, nice crumbly texture. Tilth. Now, in amongst these five composts is the worm compost. None of us knows which one it is. Four local gardeners had brought their own composts along as challengers. So, would the worms grab the glory? Well, I would say this is uh, quite cheeky, but not presumptuous in any way. So, what are you facing here, north, are you? So, it is the best. It's got the finest tilth. Hey, everyone. Yes, we'll go for I reckon. Go for eight, yeah? Okay, well, it's, it's certainly the most refined and we're good. The worms are going to look chumps if this isn't the one. Hooray! Worm compost! <laughs> worm compost. <laughs> you see? I'm a compost expert. So, a, a toast, I think. A toast, everybody. Yes. I think the toast before us is, um, yes. hats off to the worm. That's it. Good. To the worms. Bless their little cup of socks. <laughs>